Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Victoria 2 as the Russian Empire, where we have just made Wake a Russian core. Because why not? So let's see here, is there a way for us to actually check states versus colonies? Current rate. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying the ratio is 1. Turkmenia should be possible to. to possible to make into a state then. That's what you're telling me. Hmm. We might have to do that. First, though, we have a small war over here to deal with. Hello, Sokoto. We have a war declaration. We can declare war on you. You're friendly. We are so friendly, we want your land. Um. Hmm. Why not call calling our allies? I have no idea. If, I have no idea if um, <laughs> if the United States might intervene, but if they do, I'd kind of like to have Italy on my side. And you're just gonna march straight for his army because I think that's gonna be enough. Um, Persia joins us. Serbia, Montenegro. Go. Yeah, there we go. All the, all of them, all of them joined. Let's see a quick. We are getting down the, beating down the last bits of the rebellion. That's good. And can we can certainly secure these areas. Ah. Oh right, because I have to go and click. There we go. Excellent, what's left? Oh, there we go. So, uh, Turkmenistan, you said current ratio is 1%. Not allowed while at war, of course. Uh, okay, so that explains it. That's okay though, I'm pretty certain this war will be over rather quickly. Uh, another crisis brewing. I'm gonna guess it's still the independence of... Yeah. Independent Romania. Da -da -da. Occupations are done. Oh, I think I need to cut away railroads and factories from this. With factories. Uh, actually, that's building. There we go. I know it's gonna happen. I know I'm gonna build other things, but there's no point in... No point in watching all of that stuff when you can't really control it anyway. Uh, you finished this. Good. That should be the last bit of rebellion there. Which is good. Let's go check for Revolt Risk. So at least other armies are parked in provinces with Revolt Risk. And there aren't any here or there anymore. Interesting. 
In that case, you can go and park over there. Another rearranging. Still not gonna matter because we're never gonna be able to do the social reforms. Who am I? So much civil violence. Tragic. I'd assume that Sokota would cave pretty soon now because this war. Oh! I didn't get any war score from killing his army. Oh well. Okay, that's done. Um, I don't have this either. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, we need the prestige stuff out of the way. Oh, rebels have risen up in Persia. That's what the notification is about. Huh. Yeah, why not? Let's ride down and help him. I mean, there are dear puppet. You know, I think I'm gonna switch over the. Uh, Uh, what's it called? National focuses so we can see if we can maybe turn these into states at some point. There are... There are... People present, so why not? You can do here instead of in the Urals. Uzbekia. Uralsk, sure. If there is a presence at all. 0.0. .0. Are there any Russians here? There are some Russians here. In that case. In that case, let's try. This is already a state. This is not. Last one, I think I want to put over here, just in case we can see. If, just to see. I don't know if there are any Russians over there, though. Actually, there are a few, because our assimilation is going on, I suppose. Mm, I believe that's going to be the last two Jacobin provinces. Yes, good, good, good. That means that's gonna, it's gonna be over. So let's see. Sokota is willing to give us what we wanted. Thank you so much. That means we can switch the armies over to this area. I suspect. For now at least. And we can now turn two of them into there. Okay, excellent. Turkmenia. It's now a proper state. I'm gonna remove the focus there. No longer need to encourage bureaucrats. Northern Siberia, same thing. Excellent. 
Um, is there a view for... Colonial, but I'm trying to find... Da -da 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 -da. Migrations, yeah. Slight problem. People are leaving. Because they are unhappy. They are very unhappy. I'm trying to find a view that is basically... Colony versus state. And I suppose this is it. Because the uh, colonies have less efficiency. Maybe. Yeah, let's start over here. To do that we need what? Far more bureaucrats. So we're gonna go there. More bureaucrats. Again, we will boost up our relations with the major powers, except Germany. Italy is actually falling down the list. Ah, poor them. There we go. So let's see, we have 14 points. Alright, <laughs> you spent all my diplomacy points. Do. Um, yeah. Let's see, fact, let's see, how about our fort industry? Forts are still being built. Um, darn it, I forgot to join the crisis. Arg. Oh well. Do I want to expand forts here as well? Yeah, why the heck not? Just fortify the entire border. And probably the area around St. Petersburg. Just in case someone does a naval landing. There we go. That excellent. I think I want to leave these two all the way over here in the east. There always seems to be some kind of trouble brewing up there, so why not be careful? So, Wake, where are you? Wake needs a proper naval base and a forge. That kind of drained us our treasury. That's fine. Uh, technologies, yes. Hmm. Don't think that's gonna be too valuable to us compared to more prestige stuff. And I'm still uncertain if this is gonna work well. Hmm. Where to go first? Ah, uh, I'm gonna take the classical theory first. Yeah, I think I wanna focus on just getting all the industry stuff, all the commerce stuff out of the way first. We want to make money. And speaking of, more rebels. Polish nationalist this time. Whoa! Now they rose up in a much larger numbers than the other rebellions. This could kind of hurt.
Okay, so let's just see uh, the in strength of numbers. Suffrage, that's to be expected, and the polls. Uh huh. So many re possible rebels. Ugh. 120 regiments. Ugh. Uh, do I have enough troops? Yeah, we need more troops up here, I think. And on top of all of this stuff, Krakatoa explodes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Krakatoa explodes. The eruption of the Krakatoa volcano and the resultant tsunami left of left over 36,500 36, dead in the Dutch East Indies. And the sound of the eruption was heard. 3,000 miles away at Rodriguez Island in the Indian Ocean. The explosion had a tremendous global impact with the sky darkening worldwide for years afterwards, producing intensely red sunsets and other optical effects, as well as a global average temperature dropping by more than a degree Celsius. Okay, so, this, so to solve global warming, make volcanoes go boom. Got it. No, oh, remarkably enough, we've beaten them down here. You march on the large stack there. You kill this. You murder that. Murder, death, death kill. Say town recognition. Oh boy, um, fifty seven thousand rebels. Must destroy. Did they march into German territory? Sort of looked like they did. I'd be fine with that. They did march into German territory. <laughs> hey, you stay there. So let's see, you. And you stay right there. Uh, actually, you're gonna go back to Sevastopol. Yeah, okay, excellent. Well, that's that rebellion called rather easily. Let's see, Revoltrisk is pretty much dead down there. Interesting, so when they, when they do rise up, there is a drop in Revoltrisk. Apparently. And that's good. We might as well go and prepare for the next one.
Okay, you go there and sort that out, hopefully. Um, right, I did send my troops down here to help him out, but they're now completely deployed, depleted on strength. Hmm, that's not good. Rebel factions are organizing in our country, you don't say. Ah. I suppose I could start suppressing, but I don't really want to. I want to be a benign emperor. Benign Tsar, insofar as I can be one. Um, yeah, we haven't gotten that one yet, but we're getting there. Colombia! I'd really like to get Colombia into my sphere, but I don't see how the heck I'm going to do that. When I'm the... Oh no, it's in the French sphere. <laughs> yeah, people really want Colombia but simply because of the channel. So let's see, we're encouraging bureaucrats. Uh, why are you in the Uralsk here? Because you have a colonial Uralsk. That is why. Um, lower. Uh, is it not the colonial lawyer? Lower. It is. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep it like that. For now. Colonial incident. On the Netherlands. On the Netherlands. Do you have colonies? Do you have friends? You're allied with France, Spain, and the Ottomans. Ah, uh, okay. Now, what about your territories? What what lands do you own? How can I easily see what you own? Uh, diplomacy. Uh, diplomatic map mode. For the Netherlands, please. Okay, so you own a chunk of land down there. Uh, you should probably own... Fair chunk of Asia, yeah. Hmm. Well, this is interesting because we get the CB without getting the uh, infamy. Of course, if we go there, if we try to intervene with them, that's going to bring us into a conflict with quite a few nations. I don't see why not. Let's just grab the CB, if nothing else. Sumatri, Avo Borneo, Molaccas, Dutch, oh my. Quite a few places. Uh, do I have any good allies? I, I'm allied to Italy, I know, but... I don't know if they are as strong as I like them to be. Uh, diplomacy. France, 153. So, hey, Italy is much weaker. So, if I were to do claim, place claim in the sun, there's that. Would I get my allies to join? Mm hmm. Actually, they would join. Well, that's good. Uh, the problem, of course, is that uh, all of the Dutch allies would rise to his defense. And he had quite a few. France, Denmark, Spain, and the Ottomans.
And they don't they don't have zero military power, they have quite a bit of it. Poor Egypt, they're dying to rebels. Hmm. Is it worthwhile to start a major war? Because their colonial possessions are pretty much in the Indonesia, and we don't have a fleet. So we won't really have an ability to get down here and fight. Not efficiently. Um, and of course, we have the slight issue of him being allied to France and the Ottomans and everyone and their brother. So we'd have a significant disadvantage in, just in terms of logistics there. It is a nice CB though. And I'm sure there are some provinces down here that would be worth it. Hmm. I just don't recall if they spawn oil or not. Down here. Okay, let's switch over to region. My goodness, these, these states are pretty darn populous. Mm, let's say I wanted Java. Twenty two war score. Italy will join our side. So there's that. Uh, can I possibly get another friend? Probably not, no. <laughs> okay, so Spain would become my ally. But they're also allied to the Netherlands. How, how would, that, would that work? Hmm, yeah, how would that work indeed? You know what, you these troops... I'm gonna have to need them down. I'll need them down here if I'm gonna go to war with the Autoglob. I'm gonna leave a few here, because in case they march across the... march across the Germany. Hmm. I'm very tempted to try that. Try this war. Uh, the only problem is that we don't really have a navy worth a damn. take a short break here and think about this because I, I really like to try this this could get, get very interesting uh, of course we I don't know if we had the power to do it but it seems a very interesting thing to do at any rate we'll see thank you for watching I'll be, we'll see next time <laughs>